Well, first, I, I would definitely think that they both were against the idea of, of documentary being the fly in the wall because they were really aware of their presence. And when they made films, they kind of believed that they had a relationship with the characters that they were filming. So it wasn't really possible to disappear and be a fly on the wall. Um, and that you can definitely tell that in the way that Al filmed things because he had a kind of um, philosophy behind the way that he filmed and that kind of came out in the way that he would treat characters. So the concept of a fly on the wall just is almost the opposite of how, how they were. were. I mean, I think that what they did was that they really kind of documented everyday situations and they documented things with a kind of even um, observation of it. So things that were ordinary and things that were not ordinary are seen in the same way. So to embrace, you know, the non-ordinary and the ordinary at the same time. They cared about the people that they were filming. And they, and they think that a lot of the times they didn't really know who they were filming, and so they kind of learned, like, got to know them as that they were filming, and that created also a pretty strong relationship. I mean, I can't speak for David as well as I can speak for my father, because, you know, I, I didn't know David, but, um, you know, there were definitely people that my father filmed that he maintained relationships with until they passed away or until he passed away, so I think it, th that was important to him. I think that David was a little bit more hip about like who was who. I mean, I don't think my father had any idea who the Beatles were and David was like, oh, this is a really good idea. You know, we should film them. Or maybe the Rolling Stones. I mean, the, when they met the Edies, they kind of, they discovered them on their own um, because they were working on another project that was a work for hire for Lee Radswell. And it was a project about, um, meeting like she wanted to make a film about her life and one of the people that she, one of the people that she thought would be interesting to interview were these cousins of hers and so that's how they met the Beals and so it was just kind of hap you know and they're like wait a second this is really interesting and then the Lee Radswell film didn't make sense and it didn't end up working out but then Grey Gardens happened so a lot of it happened um kind of by chance I mean Iris is a really good example so Iris she didn't he had no idea who Iris was, and Iris didn't really know who he was. And a friend of Iris came to us and just did a cold call and just said, hey, I really think you should make a film about Iris. And so they met, and they really hit it off. And that's kind of, and then that's how the beginning of the film started, and then like, the relationship built went on, you know, for four years. but. Yeah, they both didn't know each other, was, which is kind of interesting because they're both like New York City icons <laughs> and they had no clue, but they really liked each other. And, and she, she thought, oh, you know, I like him. Like, I, I trust that he'll, you know, that he'll make a good film. And she, he trusted that she'd be interesting to follow around. So um, that's how the beginning of it kind of started. We were talking about like if, if we were to make a film about him and his work, you know, what would it be like? And he was like, well, it should really start with this scene in Salesman. That's my favorite scene that I've ever shot. And it's where, um, where he's doing a pitch to sell the Bible and the mother is not interested in buying the Bible. And then the daughter kind of st starts playing the piano in the background. And my father always really loved that because he felt like the kid really captured the sadness of the scene and playing the piano. And so you know, have these like two different things that are going on and how beautiful and subtle it was. So I think about that scene a lot because I feel like that, that is really, um, that's like his camera work at the best where one thing is going on and then something else goes on and he just kind of knows how to like gravitate towards it and focus on that where it in its own way kind of shows everything that's going on in the room and in the relationships between all the people so